So today, finishing off the well. So the hole's about three and a bit metres deep to the bottom. Got about a metre and a half of water there, metre and a half above. Now, just dug this out at first light with the digger we had just before it went back. So, time rush, didn't have time to film the actual digging out the final bit of the hole. But as you can see, it's about four metres square. And like I say, about one and a half metres deep of water already because it filled up quite a bit when we only had it a small hole. And the next step is to uh, get this big pipe, drill some holes in it, and then put it in the ground, put some gravel around the bottom, start casing off the edge of this well, making it a nice big storage tank underground for us as well. Right then, let's crack on. are drilled through all the way halfway about 15 centimeters apart all the way around that should let the water flow into the well case nicely right, let's start moving this pipe into position got all the holes in the pipe now pushed it into position roughly so now all we've got to do is slide it forward into the hole when we're ready and now the process of pumping out begins so as you can see I've rigged up this little beam across here with a submersible pump attached onto it there. Nice two inch pipe running all the way over to the gravel pile. So I've got the water being pumped out of this two inch pipe onto the gravel pile. As you can see it's doing the job I intended so I'm using the well water that's in there already to wash this off a little bit before we actually put it in the hole which should make the secondary stage of cleaning the well up and making it usable much easier. Now I'm going to be moving this pipe around this pile as we're, as, as we're uh, dropping the level of the, the well. There's at least, I'd say 10,000 litres in there. This has been going about 20 minutes already. Already pumped about six inches out the pond, uh, out the well. And uh, yeah, already coming clean on this side, so let's crack on cleaning this up, pumping the hole out. Just thought I'd in, uh, include a little section here. I mean, the power's been drawn at basically the full thousand watts. What's going on with the system? As you can see, I've got six amps coming in, and we're actually charging. It was, yeah, it's pop, it popping up a little bit there. Perfect, system works well. So we've got the hole pumped out to pretty much the bottom now. It's time to stand this pipe up and start packing in the gravel. meter of gravel in now that'll be a under, nice underground reservoir as well as a bit of a filter for the water once it starts pumping clean right now to put a bit of uh, geotextile membrane down to sort of stop any more sediment that will be backfilling going into this stuff and making the, the clean water process a bit more difficult so we'll uh, begin doing that now so you can see there the last little piece of membrane poking out got most of it Halfway filled with clay now, there's a nice plug in there. Just got to fill the rest up to the top now with all of that stuff. So we're on to the uh, next stage. We're pretty much full to the top. And we've started putting in the water pipe. Now this is going to be connected to this big tank. And a little 24 volt pressurised pump, which is going to give us a 50 psi supply. From here, wherever we want to take it, to the rest of the farm which is basically the equivalent of a mains water supply. Now the 5,000 litre tank, we're gonna sit over here to the left of this and then put all this in a little earth bag building. Right, let's carry on filling this in. So we're filled up around the well and we're on to the final stage of cleaning now. Just built a little 
24 volt pump to pump some water from the rainwater storage. We're basically just washing the gravel at the bottom of this, stirring up all the silt. Keep doing this for like 10 minutes or so, and then pump it up. Do that about 10 times, and uh, we should be ready to go. As you can see down there, it's coming pretty clear now. And we've also started building the pad for the water tank to go on, slash for the earth bag little building to sit on. As you can see, we're going to take it right to the edge of this little pad, all the way over there around the other side of the well, and then, yeah, around that thing. So we're on the final few steps now. Just mounted this bar across the middle. I've done this with little bolts there with those little washers that I made the other day. And I've put that there so I can mount the main pump that's going to be in here a long time. Straight across the middle, across something that's not going to corrode or rot basically. If you use a bit of wood it's going to lead to having problems. So Same with metal, so why not use plastic that's designed to last hundreds of years. And uh, next step is putting in the pump. I've got in this big one at the minute. This is one for shifting for thousands of uh, litres of water an hour. The one I'm putting in is just going to be good enough to supply the taps. Right, let's have a look at the pump. So this is the one I'm going to be using. It's a little Katsu. Cheap off the internet. Just plumbed it into some 25mm MPDE pipe so all the fittings and everything else become dead easy then for the rest of the main plumbing and want to do it once we get the well house in place. But this one, literally just going to plumb it straight in there into the pipe that's over there and then flow it away the same as we've been doing with the other big one for now, just while we're finishing off, getting it nice and clean. Save having to change filters out all the time straight away. May as well keep pumping it, get it cleaner, whilst we're uh, building the well house, basically. Right, let's put this in. Got the pump in the hole now. Started it up this morning, as soon as I got here. Nice and foggy, but... Plenty of water coming out of it. And... Don't know if you can see there. Pretty clear, just a little bit of silt left. So, that's it. Well done for now. Until next time.